and all right here on the Derek Shapiro podcast and cable show we have another actor I've interviewed a lot of actors from Dom Man but this time from Dom Man um is we're talking about something serious behind the scenes that's going on and I've interviewed a lot of people such as the late Carl L Judy did you ever meet Carl L Judy Chaz Carl was on my very first Dom Man shoot I did quite a few shoots with Carl Yes, Carl was an awesome guy, and I had a privilege to interview him. And I was going camping with my son, who you just met off screen, and he called me up when I went camping, and he says, Derek, I'll do the interview with you. And then I also do online movies. Uh, so I had a privilege to act with him over the computer in my independent movie. Oh, wow. And then the second ever actress from Dom Man, I interviewed Catherine Norland. Oh, nice. And then she played my sister in one of my movies. <laughs> nice. And I had the privilege to interview Michael um, Vaccaro the second time the other day for this yeah. same reason. And I interviewed Michael like a year ago, and then I put him in one of my movies too. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes, Michael played his, himself in my comedy movie, Men in Blue Sweats. So it was pretty cool. Nice. Um, so you, of course, you're a well-known actor from the Damien series. And... Dom Man is not treating you, Michael, um, Mayor, and other actors such as Colin. Uh, I, I interviewed Colin, but I never got a chance to act with Colin. Colin A. Borden, yeah. Yes, um, and so I interviewed a lot of people from you, you know. So tell me in your words what's going on and, and, and what's the main problem behind it? Because I got Michael's and mayor's um response but what's your response chaz yeah and uh first of all i'm sorry i, I was supposed to be on that uh that call okay. with you. sorry i just got kind of tied up with a lot of uh quick turnarounds with stuff yeah. um but in short what's going on um i did see clips i think mary michael put it really well uh just to add my little two cents to it i guess it's been i guess uh building over time but this is not anything that's new i think from the very beginning i just talked to somebody uh who was on that first shoot with me his name's pedro with carl he reached out to me after seeing what happened and he had originally he'd been there since one of the very first videos then had been there since the very first video and so we've seen people over time ask for any sort of improvement at all whether that's for something as simple i know i i've had to ask for water uh, just which seems incredibly simple and incredibly cheap, but they've they've said no to uh, giving us water. Uh, are you is, serious? I'm not kidding. Like it, it's it's so these are things that have been going on for years and years, and it takes company wide complaints uh, before things actually change. So like we now, I haven't had a water problem on set for a long time, but I think that's because. I, I, I can't even imagine. Maybe someone threatened to sue. I, I can't I can't imagine. But it's it's bad. And uh I know if you give them feedback across the board, everybody knows if you give feedback, they know it's you and you get punished. You just don't get booked. Well and, and by the way, you're you're a very good actor on Domian. I mean I mean you're Thanks. the actor that everybody wants to throw in jail. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have the record for it. I think I've been in jail like I don't know, twenty, twenty times, something like that. Yes. And of course, you played a nice guy in just a recent one. Some recent ones I've seen, and I, you know, I, I actually, I actually, um, I, I didn't get permission, but I, I have a lot of websites. So I used to carry and and put Dom in on my one of my websites. I told Michael about it, and and and, and because of what's happening, I'm supporting you guys. I'm not showing any more new Dom Man things oh, on my okay. website because <clears throat> you actors. Even though you you're not being shown in any new stuff, I don't think it's going to be any new stuff anytime soon, unless unless they correct it with you, you know. Yeah. Um, because I was asking Mayor and Michael, can you see yourself acting in any more Damian stuff after this? At this point, um, I don't think he's going to come to the table. I I really want him to. I mean, that's we we were chanting two days ago. What do we want? A meeting when do we want it now and that's all we've been asking for for a month and the fact is i was booked on five shoots this last month 
um, before I asked for the meeting. And that's why my, Colin and myself were the ones who signed the letter and we had all kind of agreed. Uh, it was best to only have a representative uh, just to insulate everyone else from being punished, just in case we didn't get to this level of like a level of support. Uh, and Colin and myself were resigned enough to where we thought maybe they cared about us. Um, but if they didn't, we were ready to not work with them again, just because for us, it was about respect. And so I know this is a long winded answer, but no, I, I, I would not go back unless we get the changes that would need to be made. So if we go in and we get to negotiate and we win the things we want, I'll go back. But I, I can't imagine Dar's going to really like me too much. <laughs> yeah. and, and the thing is, with Dar's message, he even talks about bad behavior in the workplace. He, is, he, he, he has had that videos. Yeah. So he's kind of false representative representing what he believes in. Or what he puts out, what he puts out, what he puts out, rationally. Because, yeah. because what he believes in is different what he puts out. Uh, well, I suppose. Uh, looking at this current situation, I mean, I, I hoped it wouldn't come to this. I'm not surprised it hasn't come to th that it has come to this. I would certainly say it's ironic. Uh, I think you're right with that. It is ironic because it doesn't seem that he lives exactly what he's preaching. Yeah, because, because like... Even if you go to like a temple or church, like you know, I was raised Jewish, and I know rabbis or priests, and 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 if they preach something that they're not really doing, that's false. You know what I'm saying? And 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 some of the signs that you have up is like, uh, what is it, Damian? Or, or he's a fraud, or you know, this is like you know, it's fraud. You know, like what he's representing. You know. Yeah, I think what that one's calling out um, specifically, uh, whether this is fair or not, I like Darman does have a past history. He had uh, felony fraud charges. I don't know if you're aware of that. They've I, been, I saw that. I saw that. I, I Googled it. From his record, but I think that's what they were referencing. I'm trying not to get into low blows like that, but that's just purely context of what that specific one is. I, I'm not going to say he's – like, I'm not going to make any outright accusations that he's doing any sort of fraud or even – I will call him a hypocrite at least because, I mean, the way he's not even publicly made a statement, he put out, like, text and whatnot. It just tells me probably, and I don't know if this goes off your question too much, my gut tells me I'm probably going to be seeing some some lawsuits after this, just um, purely trying to muscle with money because that's what he does have right now since he doesn't seem to have the public opinion. And I think I've we've been blown away by – I mean, just people like you and all, all the different YouTubers and fans who've come out and supported us. So I think the only thing he's got left to do is just to try and bully us, which has basically been his tactic, though, since the beginning. And, and of course, that's not right either, because, of course, in his videos, he talks about bullying. Why, yeah. do, you, why do you think there's a different Dom man? There's a business Dom man, and there's, and there's a one he puts out there. Why, doesn't, why do you think he's that way? Well, I don't think Dar is necessarily a bad person. Uh, no. Let me just, just just to put this out. I think what it is, if I had to guess, uh, he just got perhaps blind, or maybe he doesn't even realize what he's doing is wrong. And for him, it's just about winning the game, and the game for him is winning the most money. And maybe he thinks we're being ungrateful, but I I, I don't know. I can't imagine. Uh, do, you, do you can you can you hit me with that question again? I think I missed. I, I guess I guess what you're saying is like <clears throat> he's a good per he could be a good person. I mean, I mean, I mean, he, he has two kids, yeah. he has a wife, but he's a bad business person. Oh, okay. Uh, why? Okay, yeah. I, there was something I, I did miss to touch on. Um, I think Dar is smart. I think he's very smart, and I think he is uh, actually a very good businessman when it comes to he knows how to build a structure and make a business. And he has a very good sense of picking the right people. Like I would say if I had to give Dar any compliments of his skills that are high, he has a very good sense of high quality people. Like I'd, a lot of people in the company, I loved working there because they, they had great taste in pulling in people. But maybe that was also kind of a double thing because he also pulled in the, the kind of people who won't fight back. Um, that he can kind of corner and force into it because this isn't just the actors we're talking. I mean, I, I've had a lot of former crew members reach out yes. uh, 
lot of employees, former and current, reach out, and they're they're really applauding what we're doing because they're too scared. A lot of them, a lot of the actors and everything else. So, uh, yeah, to go back to the thing about do what, why do I think Dar says this and acts a different way? I think it's because he knows how to really clearly brand and message it, and I think he wants in theory to believe that he practices these things, but perhaps there's something in him that will overrides that and wins and makes him act this way. Sure. And, and, and sometimes, you know, like I, I've seen business people, you, you know, that's in high profile. Bi- uh, I, I've had them on my show before and in the prominent in the, in the community where I live in Rhode Island, so yeah. I'm, I'm in Pastor Rhode Island right now. And you, you're in Los Angeles, California. Uh, well, actually, right now I'm in Portland. I flew back um, to visit oh. my – never got to go back for Christmas. Um, sure. It was cheaper to fly back now. It's probably unfortunate timing. Sure. For, um, but, yeah, I, I just flew in this morning to Portland. I'll be back oh. there shortly. Well, I'm glad you had a safe trip. So, I, I, again, like there's some business people that look good on camera, and and, 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 they, and they put on a shrewd behind-the-scenes, shrewd business environment. Mm. And sometimes sometimes it's an on-screen – and then there's an off-screen person of them, you know, and mm. I, I, I guess I, that goes to like sort of everybody too, a little bit. But, but he should he should really sit down because if he really cares about the people, because doesn't he know that you and Mayor and Michael and and Colin are the main? You're like the A-listers of Domian, right. you know, because if he loses the A-listers. You know, he's trying to build other A-listers now because and he, I, I saw some new videos. I I, I, I unsubscribe. I, I, I want to see what people are saying in the chat. Yeah. yeah. You know, and some people don't even realize it. So I put it out there um, <clears throat> because I have I have a lot of different shows. So I'm advertising Michael and and Mayor on my on my other podcast, and I'm advertising you on the future podcast. So I'll put it out there actually on the message where it says the messages of the people. To let them know what's going on for you guys, because I want your interviews to be sh- shown what's going on. There's a lot of some, a lot of the viewers don't even know what's going on. They're still saying, "Da's a good guy. His his messages are good. Well, his messages are good. I mean, the messages are good. Right. What people see, if it helps somebody out, then he's doing a good thing for that too. But be- but he has to have a better work environment if he wants to still have the core people like you, Mayor, and Colin and Michael. Yeah, no, I 100% agree with that statement. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I would say also just to kind of act, add on to what you're saying there, he knows. I, I think, he, uh, like you said, he's got to know. And he does. Like, they have a system in there. It's, it's a strange wording. He calls it their elites, which is a weird label for me personally. Um, I never liked it, but he calls – there's like a class of actors has and that's who gets the highest rate which is uh 44 an hour which sounds good on paper it sounds really good except what they'll do is one just the blatant disrespect we don't get to read the scripts before i mean there's just like a litany of things we can go on and on i'm sure mary uh and michael went into it in depth but uh you don't know how many days you're going to be working until after you agree to the contract and so say it's a four-day shoot you may only have two lines in that uh, and they won't tell you. Uh, and they'll tell you to hold all four days. And as an actor, uh, where we have like different side jobs and things, you have to hold those four days. And then they'll call you in and you're only working on the first day for half of a day. Their minimums are $88. Wow. Which is less than they advertise on to get new actors. Right? The new actors get a 125 minimum day rate. Wow. And then they switch them over to this hourly minimum, which is... Probably even less. I think like the one liners get 33 or 25, like, and they kind of like bump you up depending on how elite you are. Um, And that's, that's the highest level. And I've I've gotten $88 for the day. And sometimes they try to pay less, which is just hardly even the gas money these days. Uh, And yeah. You're elite though. You're elite, right? I am. Yeah. Since I've been there since 2019, um, like same time around Colin and mayor, she's, she's been there probably a little longer, like maybe another six months a year. Wow. Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's that's the kind of work environment. So, because I know they had posted what our rates were, and it sounds good on paper, but it's not a 40-hour week. No, not a 40-hour week at all. And then you have wow. to hold the day, so you lose four days of work, and you only made 88 bucks over four days. It's just, that's, 
it's into slap in the face. So I, I commend you for that, for that, both you and, and, and Colin and, 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 and Mayor and Michael, because you are working actors. You're not like, you're not like um, 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 Sylvester Stallone or Tom Hanks. I, I actually call Colin the Tom Hanks of the Damien series, you know, because, <laughs> um, 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 but Michael and, and you, uh, you're all not, well, I mean, you're not like A-listers like, no. you, you know, like, like Denzel Washington, but your A-list is for the Damien series, granted that. Yeah. And people know you. I mean, I mean, I went to a laundry map down the street sometimes. I have I mean, my own laundry here, but sometimes I get to do big laundry. And guess what they have on there? They have Damien on there. I, no, I think I saw one, of your, one of your scenes on there says, you know, with Michael. On it, and I said, I know Michael, but I didn't know you at the time. So I said, I know that guy. Or I know Carl Judy. Uh, of course, you know, before he passed away. So it, it's it's like, whoa, you know. Um, but it's like uh, you are working actors. So you must have other things that you're doing to get paid because you are taking a stance. You're, you're putting your jobs at stake for what you have at Dom Man. So you have other good, good, good things that's following from yourself. Like financially? Coming up with acting. Uh, oh, like acting projects? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm. Uh, it hasn't always been this way. Like when I first started with Dar, I was, I mean, that was four years ago. So my career wasn't where it is now. Um, now I have like, I'm on a veil for commercial. I got a movie. I'm on hold for, for two movies this year. Uh, I'm producing. So yeah, I, I, I do have a lot of projects, um, fortunately. So I, for me, I'm also, I'm in a position where I, I create a lot of things like, uh, None of these are just things that even my agents got me. All of those projects I mentioned are things that I've gotten through relationships or that I'm producing myself. Wow. So, so, um, 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 and, and any movies, uh, do, do you know where it's going to be played at? It's going to be on Netflix or movie theaters at all? Uh, independent productions, all of them. So I'm not sure they'll sell it after the fact. Um, I mean, be rad. Uh, the biggest one, the, like the one I want to veil for is, uh, like a rom-com sort of thing. It's, it could land anywhere. Probably like a Netflix would be my guess. Um, Cause they like, to, they like that kind of, you know, cheesy rom-com stuff. Do you think, do you think you, you and maybe mayor and Michael will ever go to comic cons because, you know, and sign autographs there too, because you can make some good money doing that too, because people, you know, if you put Dom, I mean, you know, could you, could you do that? Can you see yourself going to comic cons? Uh, I, I could see it as a thing. I probably won't unless it's with a, a different show because I, I, I really don't think I am. Um, I, I'm probably going to distance myself from the Darman brand personally, uh, regardless whether we win or not. I mean, I hope we can still win. And even if I still kind of work there, um, I don't trust it anymore. Uh, sure. If this is the direction that the leadership has and what we have to do, just to even get a meeting, uh, I don't think that's something I'd want to promote in person, but like uh, if I can build my brand and get associated with another show or some other thing, then yeah, I would absolutely, I think that'd be a great idea, Derek. Yeah. To show up to well, a con. I'm root. I'm rooting for you uh, and, and mayor and Michael, because you know, Michael's done my show twice or whatever. I've interviewed him twice. And it was funny because he does a lot of commercials, you know? And so I talked to him a lot on Facebook and I saw him one time in a commercial that he had no voice on. It was for like a online something. And I says, I took a snapshot and I said, Michael, did you know you're in this commercial? He didn't even know it. So, <laughs> and it was something he shot for and I, I, I sent it to him and it comes on YouTube. I, I guess if you do something on, on, on the computer, then it does a special thing for the computer. And anyway, so it's, it was on YouTube for me and he didn't even see it for himself. So I snapshot it. I put it and then I finally did a, a video for him and showed it uh, quick, you know, and, and I showed him what commercial he's on, you know. So I'm glad you're doing commercials. I'm rooting for you. I, I hope you um, make it on the big screen or whatever you do to make it, you know, and I believe you guys, because when one door closes, the other door opens, you know? Yeah. And, I like it. That sounds like a, like a Darman video, but not Darman. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. And, and, <laughs> and, you know, you know, I, I do movies myself, so yeah. um, 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 I'll send you some of my stuff too. And, and, and if, and if you ever want to be in my stuff too, you know, I, I'll I'll be honored to be in your stuff. Or if you ever want to, you know, 
I, I, I just love, uh, I, I don't know if you ever know Keith Coogan, you know, Keith Coogan, I interview, he's in one of my other coming projects coming up. He, he was in, he played Christina Applegate's brother in Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Oh, nice. And I, I interview him a lot every year. I, I, I met him. Um, and then, uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with this other actress from, from Hollywood. I don't know if you know, um, Roseanne, the Roseanne show. And, um, the black actress in Roseanne, my friend Adela Barnes, she's good friends with Danny Glover. So uh, I, 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 I'm going to send her this interview too and and, sh and show you guys to Adela because Adela, is, you know, she's been in uh, 4400 on the CW and she's been in um, in, in I Enjoyed Angels with Hilary Swank. So I know some other actresses and actors. So, you know, just to, just to get the – you, you you know your name across even more people you know what i'm saying because you deserve it you mayor wow. and michael deserve it you know that's sweet i i sometimes i i, I that's sweet I, I have a hard time saying i deserve much any to be honest but maybe that's why i'm in the situation i'm in well well you know you work hard you know you work hard you, and you, you don't respect to be treated with anything because you know i was just i was just working a holiday job other than my radio show but you know this is my this is my bread and butter, but but I, I worked Amazon over the over the thing, and they gave us water. I was just thinking about that. They gave us water because sometimes you're sweaty doing stuff, and I, I do other projects other than this. Just to I never keep my eggs in one basket, you know. Yeah, and, I, same. and I'm sure you don't. And when I was working for Amazon, and we're actually we're on Amazon Music, we're on we're on Audible by Amazon too, we're on iHeartRadio too. So nice. <laughs> this interview will be on that. But when I was working for Amazon, they gave us water. They didn't they didn't fight to give us water. You know what I'm saying? So that was surprising because Don Man, the small, the small compared to Amazon, was fighting to give water to the actors. That, yeah. th that's a right. Hello, drinking is a right. You know, not drinking alcohol, but drinking tea, drinking water. That's a God-given right. You know what I'm saying? That you should have on break. Yeah, I mean, imagine. Exactly. Exactly. So, any any final thing thoughts you want to say to if if somebody's listening that you want to that you want to um you know if, if he's listening right now Dar or anybody else of your fans want to um um hear something from you because your fans won't be seeing you too much more on any new stuff. What do you want to say to your fans right now or anybody that's listening or watching? Um, just thank you. I I genuinely did not expect this much of a positive response i really i'm just blown away and humbled by how quickly everyone has just believed us because a lot of us it was so the people you had mentioned me michael mayor and colin were the first ones who got together at the beginning of the year and we had just decided that this was the time we've been we had all kind of had our separate thoughts and mayor and i are very good friends so we had been talking for a while like hey we're done with this. And we were scared that we were just going to look really stupid and almost that people would think that we were being divas about it. But um, it, the exact opposite happened that I, I've been just so grateful for everybody who's come to our support. And I mean, Derek, that includes you, of course. And well, thank fans. you. Uh, if you ever hear this, Dar, I really wish you would have just taken the meeting. I, I feel like we didn't we didn't want to do this. And um, um, I'm, I, I hope to get an interview with him too because you know I, I want to get both sides, his side too. You know what I'm saying? I, I hope he he sees this and wants to reach out because me being in journalism, I had to, you had to get both sides of the story too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 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 and, and, and get his his perspective. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and if I were him, I would I would say, hey Derek, I want to do an interview with you and get you know get a chance to do it. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I think it'd be positive if if he came on my show. You know, I'm a, I'm inviting him on my show. So if da, if you're watching this, come on my show and speak out about this. You know what I'm saying? I bet you will have to hear hear his side even on my show too. Right, because right. one of the things is we're just not hearing from Dar at all. So we don't know where the breakdown's happening. Is it at Ruben, uh, who's the head of production? Is it HR and Ruben? Because we know we've met with them and we we don't know if the breakdown is happening between him and Dar or if this is all Dar himself. The tough part is it's just Dar. It's his name on the studio, so it's tough. I I, I would love to hear what he has to say as well, too. Yeah, you're and right. And Live Glam, too? Yeah, he's the head of that company, too, yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, so, 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 so toxic work relationships with Dom, I mean, the live glam too. Those workers uh, too. I don't know what that, that company is like. I just know, I just know Dar hasn't come out and personally said anything. And I'm just curious why. Okay. Once again, tells me he's just locking down any possible statement. It's going through probably multiple lawyers, PR people, anything else, just to make sure it has no language that could possibly get him in any trouble. And he's probably just preparing to sue us. And that's unfortunate. But that's that's what my gut tells me. Um, I don't know how, how you can be sued because you, you you have every right to walk off the job. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, in protest. And like, we're, I don't think we've said anything against exactly. uh We've been real careful about that. But yeah, I don't know. My gut tells me that just because he has the money and the resources and he knows we don't. Uh, just the fact that we have to sit there and go to court. I think he will really enjoy that. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. So so, so if he sees this, I could be sued too. But hey, look, I'm doing this uh, uh, because I'm a journalist. And and, I, and 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 this is entertainment too, of course. You know, And I'm an entertainer. I got rid of all the bad news uh, before the pan- I mean, after the pandemic hit, you know. I used to yeah. report some on bad news. But this is, not, I mean, this is not good news, but this is just news because i respect you guys as actors and actresses and one other thing i, I have to ask you because we both you know we knew carl judy what did carl l judy mean to you because I, i'll tell you what he meant to me before he passed away he um one time he texted me he knew i was a new england patriot fan and he loved dallas so he texted me one time because we, we kept in touch with texts and uh he says uh derek uh um um, um what about those dallas cowboys <laughs> it says wait a second I'm not a Dallas fan. He says, I know that. I'm just teasing you. So, and then of course, uh, right before he passed away, a month before he passed away, he wished me a happy new year. And I wished him a happy new year too. And finding out he was in the hospital. And I, uh, yeah. I, I, I actually uh, interviewed his son, I think on my, sh- yeah, I interviewed his son on my show after he passed away. And um, I'm just, um, just, uh, he, he 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 was just a just a positive guy. I I I think if he was living today, he would be out there supporting everything and and yeah. and, 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 and 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 he he would just have a positive light to the picture. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. What do you mean to you, Carl Judy? Well, Carl, I mean, I I I never hung out with him outside of work, but I know whenever I worked with Carl, the nicest guy. I mean, I'm sure he was like that with you. He's just sweet an excellent listener, a great person to act off of um, both while doing a scene and in between scenes. Cause sometimes when I play, you know, I play the prick. Yeah. Sometimes people just think that's an excuse to be rude, but Carl, not once. Not exactly. Once. Uh, so, stand up guy. I loved Carl. I always said that we were, uh, um, 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 when I didn't know you now and now I know you now, we kind of acted like with six degrees of separation because I acted with Carl through Facebook, through Facebook, I acted through Ka- with Kath and Norland through Facebook, and you acted with both of them. So through Carl, we both acted with the same person. Yeah. So isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, that is pretty funny. That is pretty cool. So anyway, thank you very much for being on, on the Derek Shapiro podcast and 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 my cable show too. And uh, I I just love that you took time out and get your message across. And anything more I can do, you know, of course I have you know your number and you have my number. So um um we'll be in touch. You know. Yeah, let me know, Derek. I'm here, and I, thank you. You're an excellent person to have a conversation with. It just you well, really know how to put someone at ease. So thank you. Thank you very much. And I think River, do you want to say one thing, River? Come on in, River. River, come on in the studio. You want to say something on the air, quick? What do you want to say? That you're an awesome guy. Yeah, you're, you're amazing. Thanks, River. I yeah. know we have two interactions, but I've liked you in both of them. So I'm gonna say you're amazing too, my man. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> My son. All right. Thank you, Chaz. And you have a great day. Thank you. You too, Derek. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Do I get on? Or...